folks, Jim Huss here coming to you from Keyboard Exchange International Showroom in sunny Sanford, Florida. Today we'd like to show you a Hammond A102 with a Leslie speaker and it's number 419 as a reference. Beautiful, beautiful instrument. I'm so uh, pleased that we were able to acquire it from a beautiful home and now it's here and available for sale. But at the same time, we're going to teach one of our new friends, Toby, how to play a song using only four chords. Often these chords are referred to as the one, four, five, and in this case it would be a six chord also, which is also called a relative minor. In just a second, Randolph is going to be showing you those chords, but to give yourself a head start, go to a free video that's online called the Jim Huss Frozen Finger Method of Learning How to Play Keyboard. There's one of four lessons. If you want to get the entire DVD, that's available uh, as a download from gospelmusicians.com. But our intent is to teach our new friend Toby how to play his B3. He's a wonderful singer. So we're going to do, uh, today we're going to do one song and then we're going to do additional videos showing how easy some songs are to play with only three or four chords. So once you learn those three or four chords, you may be able to play dozens, possibly even hundreds of songs, just knowing that information. But it all starts with the Jim Huss frozen finger method of learning how to play the keyboard. So I'm going to go over there near Randolph and uh, get him started. And hey, Kim. Beautiful job on this B3. Wow. Thank you, sir. That looks better than brand new. I'm telling you what. Right. I can see myself. Oh, the reflection. I need to put my sunglasses on. So, Randolph, were you able to hear what we're trying to accomplish here? Absolutely. Okay, so uh, when um, when Brian comes over with the camera and is a little closer, I'd like for you to just play a nice C chord as it's shown on the frozen feet. DVD. That's your C chord. And then we go to the A minor. And then we go to the next chord. And then back up to the 5. And then Brian, come on in a little closer so they can see the angle of that. So let's do a song, How Great Is Our God. And Kim, if you can uh, sing along a little bit. We'll count it off here. We're just using four chords, Randolph. We're starting in the key of C. How great Kim, if you could take it from here, I'm going to go over and play the piano a 
Jim Huff's doing a small addendum to the video that Randolph and Kim just provided for the song How Great Is Our God in the Key of C Major. All I really need to say is the key of C because major is typically implied. You would say C minor to clarify, but if you say the key of C, that generally would be understood as uh, the Im implication that it's in the key of C major even without saying C major. So I'm just for the moment going to say the key of C. <laughs> uh, if there are other opinions on this, feel free to express them. Uh, but in the key of C, and starting out with the Jim Huss frozen finger method, we were playing four chords, those chords being C, A minor, F, G, back to C. Now the frozen finger method utilizes the first three fingers, the thumb, the pointer finger, and the middle finger. But here we have the little finger out here just kind of like going to the waist, if you will, as it's explained in the frozen finger method. So we're going to do an octave with that. So your chords are going to look like C, A minor, F and G. Now for our friend Toby who visited our store and we had a little time to spend together and we promised him we'd make him some videos to help him learn how to play his B3. His vocal range was in the key of G. So those same chords, uh, not the same chords, but the same chord progression and we're talking about the one, four, and five chord, one being C, four being F, five being G, and then the relative minor in that key, which is A minor. We're gonna switch it to the key of G. Now that was his vocal range, and it's also a very logical key to go to next if you want to follow the circle of fifths. Those of you that are beginning to learn how to play, and even those of you that have been around for a while might very much benefit from looking at and then studying the circle of fifths. Because when you go from the key of C to Toby's range, you're then adding one sharp. And as you go around the circle of fifths, you'll add one sharp, two sharps, three sharps, music then all of a sudden becomes very logical if you learn and understand the circle of fifths. So Toby and others who wish to learn how to play How Great Is Our God in the key of G, 
in the key of G, that same song and the same chord progression will look like this. You have the, the first chord, the one chord, Roman numeral one, if you want to get technical. The relative minor, which is E minor. The four chord, which would be in this case C. And the five chord would be D. And you notice we have the one sharp there. Because the scale in the key of G will sound like this. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Whereas in the key of C, it's just white notes. So, as is mentioned in the Jim Huss frozen finger method, and, and that whole uh, course is available from gospelmusicians.com as a download, or if you happen to stop in the store and you want a free copy, just ask for it and we're happy to give that out to beginners uh, or anyone who's actually interested. Singers, like in Toby's case, he's a fantastic vocalist. He's learning how to back himself up. Uh, but in the key of G, uh, with the one sharp, that song is going to sound and look like this. Folks, now keep in mind, I'm not auditioning for America's Got Talent, and I'm not going on The Voice anytime soon. This little lesson is for Toby and anyone who cares to listen. Uh, we're not looking for vocal critiques here. <laughs> we're just trying to get people playing the organ and the keyboard and the piano, and using this as a starting point, as a reference, and we do hope very much that it'll be a blessing to Toby and hopefully many other people. Keep on playing your music. Keep enjoying playing. God bless you all. Jim Huss signing off from Keyboard Exchange International. Jim Huss speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years. 
and it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel Organ. God bless. Signing off.